Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbara and today we're going to be going over Pluto in the first house. So this video is for you if you have Pluto in the first house. Also if you have a Scorpio rising this video might resonate with you as well. And if you're a cross watcher welcome as well. So Pluto is the god of the underworld. The Plutonian energy is all about transformation, death and rebirth. It is ruled by Scorpio. It's all about sex, death, rebirth, transformation, the occult, taxes, joint finances, anything to do with psychology, the unconscious, the subconscious, all of those hidden parts of us. So when you guys have Pluto in the first house, this is the house of the self. It gives you the undertone of having a Scorpio arising. It doesn't mean you have a Scorpio rising now, unless you actually do have Scorpio rising, that is. It just means you have the undertone energy of having a Scorpio rising. So your overall aura, your personality, your persona is very Plutonian. It's in that first house. You can't really hide this when it's in the first house, which is a very interesting placement because Scorpio overall wants to hide, okay? The energy wants to be a little bit more controlled. It wants to be more so behind the scenes. When you have Pluto in the first house, you are exuding the Scorpionic energy, the Plutonian energy. So it's really interesting when you have Pluto in the first house because it's also opposing your descendant. So you might attract a lot of people into your life that either you cause transformation to that person, okay, by just being in their life. Sometimes I see that Plutonian Scorpionic energy kind of like a tornado. It kind of comes through people's lives, shakes things up and kind of leaves them with that debris to kind of pick up those pieces. Now, I don't mean this in a good or a bad way. It's just the nature of the energy because a Plutonian person is going to be magnetic. People can't really stay away from you when you have Pluto in the first house. You're kind of drawing them in. That Scorpionic energy is kind of like a vacuum. There's a magnetism towards you guys. Strong sexual energy i mean i'm sure you guys know this already so because you guys have this strong sexual energy people are always going to be drawn towards you guys they're always going to want to be around you guys and a lot of the time they don't even understand what's going on or why they're so attracted to you guys it's basically happening energetically and unconsciously as well it's almost like there's this like element of danger that's taking place here whether it's openly dangerous or just behind the scenes it's kind of like the people that are attracted to you guys just want to know more like they can't stay away now that being said this energy really does bring out extreme reactions out of people so either people love you they can love you to the point of obsession so keep this in mind because you guys might attract stalkers people who are super super obsessed with you guys so like the point of unhealthy obsession because it is in that first house obviously depends also what's happening with the synastry between the two people as well but also you guys can attract people who just don't like you and have kind of like this aversion towards you this repulsion but keep in mind if you guys are kind of really getting this like strong reaction to people whether it's love or hate the people who even hate you probably secretly want to be your friend or they secretly want to be you guys. It just is what it is because at the end of the day, really the opposite of love is indifference. So if you guys are really bringing these strong emotions out of people, there's something here that's taking place because really you guys are that mirror energy. People either see potential in you guys, what they could be, things that they like about you guys, so they kind of want to be around that energy or they see their shadows come to the surface. With that being said, when you have Pluto in the first house, you guys could very much be about this calling people out on things. You guys very much don't like when people keep secrets, when people are super like sneaky and behind the scenes, like you guys might call these people out right away. Now all the standard things that everybody knows about Scorpio, you guys definitely don't like betrayal. You guys don't like people who lie to you guys. You guys are gonna attract a lot of possessive people, but you guys yourselves, can also be possessive. So this energy is really learning how to manage power and control because at the end of the day, Scorpio wants to be in control. You guys have it in the first house, it gives you the undertone of having that Scorpio rising energy. So what's interesting with this energy is you guys can't really hide. That's the thing. Everything's gonna be on your guys' face. If you guys like someone or you guys don't like someone, it's going to show on your face. You guys might come off intimidating or maybe people have used this term to describe you guys in the past. It's really this presence. And sometimes the presence can be a little bit extreme. And sometimes also the Scorpionic energy, Pluto in the first house can use fear as a way to also try to control people around them. And I try to intimidate people on purpose, kind of like that vibe where it's like, don't try to mess with me because you don't know what's possible here. So it's like a Scorpionic energy can be vengeful. Absolutely. Everybody does say this about Scorpionic energy, but also it's like, if you guys kind of go into the divine version of Pluto in the first house, Scorpionic energy, it's like, you guys don't really have to execute anything. It's kind of like, let's say somebody wrongs you karma really does end up kind of playing out for that person but it's like in the underdeveloped versions of this energy like you guys can really go into that vengeful energy and actually plot things 
to kind of get back at people and it's gonna get to that point where it's like the person can't even say that you guys did something so that's the thing you guys are gonna also have to integrate the shadows within yourselves as well so you guys can kind of get into that alchemical energy where you guys are manifesting left right and center with that being said plutonian energy especially when you have pluto in the first house you guys are dealing with sexual energy so you guys are dealing with the undertones of energy the undercurrent of feminine energy as well so feminine masculine these are all energies within us and also sexual energy as well you guys might be interested in maybe checking out my scorpio rising video or just my overall scorpio eighth house playlist because there's probably going to be a lot of things in there that resonate with you guys as well uh, so with that being said, the sexual energy is one of the most powerful energies on this planet. It does bring through souls if we think about it. So it brings through life. So it's kind of like the possibilities are endless with this particular energy because it's like when you guys really learn how to hone in that energy and really use it for manifestation more so you guys become magnetic and the more you guys harness this energy you guys become magnetic as well a more elevated pluto in the first house person is going to be able to not only harness their sexual energy but also other people's sexual energy now with that being said because you have it in the first house people might really think about you guys in this way like what would you guys be like in this particular area certain words i can't say too too many times so you guys are going to have to read between the lines so with that being said as well you're going to have a lot of suitors a lot of people trying to feed off of your sexual energy because you guys have this magnetism but keep in mind sexual energy manifestation energy psychic energy creative energy is all very much connected and so is healing energy so all of this is kind of in the same energetic realm obviously with a little bit of variations here and there so when you guys have a lot of sexual energy you guys are going to be able to manifest faster you guys are going to be very healing you guys yourselves might be very psychic or intuitive or very in tune with people if you guys don't want to use those terms you guys definitely could exercise these gifts so you guys could be mediums as well or have mediumship abilities because again it's all about energy and it's also all about transmutation so you guys are kind of here transmuting but it's more so through the self because it's in that first house you're transmuting who you guys are your shadows those lower chakra wounds lower chakra desires you guys are really learning to kind of transmute this energy within and really use it once again for manifestation whether you guys are unaware but usually it's better when you guys are aware so with that being said this is why a lot of people are attracted to you guys because they see unconsciously more so this is energetically they can feel even this manifesting potential okay when they kind of interact with you it kind of feels like you might be able to bring through their dreams again more so unconsciously because keep in mind scorpionic energy pluto in the first house does deal with the undercurrent of energy so this is all happening behind the scenes this is kind of like a story that's happening behind anything that's happening in the physical plane a lot of the time people might not be aware that this is why they are attracted to you guys so this is the overall vibe when i did my scorpio rising video i did call expect the unexpected because it is in your first house the pluto energy it's transforming this house so you guys are constantly transforming through the self you guys might go through personality changes or just physical changes and it's like the vibe with this is like when people think they know you you guys are going to distract that because that's kind of what scorpio does because it does bounce off of the taurus energy taurus builds so what scorpio does is like they built things just to see that they can and then they destruct it and then they fully burn into the ground because it's like scorpio also deals with the ego all of the fixed signs do in their own way pluto in the first house once again it's kind of like the undertone of that scorpio rising energy so because of this it's like as soon as someone tries to put you guys in a box or think that you guys are a certain way you guys are going to destruct that you're going to destruct that image that's why i kind of call that video expect the unexpected because it's like sometimes you guys do this just for fun just to switch up on people you know it's like you thought i was this way actually let me do the complete opposite now to destruct this image and it's kind of like this constant change also keeps people very interested in you guys what are you guys going to say next what are you guys going to do next what is going to be your next sense of style okay so that's what's going on with pluto in the first house overall throughout your lives the plutonian energy scorpionic energy especially in the first house goes through a lot of changes a lot of death and rebirth overall whether it's literal maybe you guys were exposed to death at a young age or whether it is like the metaphor of death where you guys go through a lot of changes or maybe your environment goes through a lot of changes it's kind of like it really builds this like tough exterior where you guys really have confidence in the self this is who i am and it really helps you guys kind of learn to maneuver this world in a very intuitive way because a lot of the time always with scorpionic energy plutonian energy there's always a story happening behind the physical manifestation of whatever is taking place so it's like when you guys were younger maybe your external environment wasn't matching your intuitive environment and that's kind of how your psychic gifts and abilities came online or this heightened intuition even emotional intelligence like if you guys were to really sit down and focus on it and heal and clear the lower chakra woods because 
Scorpio, because it's an extreme energy, it goes through these extremes until it basically neutralizes somewhere in the middle. So you guys could have gone through extreme darkness, okay, extreme shadows, extreme experiences, a lot of trauma, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering, but it's like, it's kind of like that quote where it's like a diamond is built under pressure. I always think of that. So the scorpionic energy kind of goes through these things. It goes through the stages. I'm sure you guys have heard about all the animals. Some people say seven. I just always say three just because it's easier. So you have a little scorpion where it's like you see things from the lower perspective. You guys might be on defense. You guys might be on guard. You guys eventually move into the ego. You kind of see things from a higher perspective. You see things a little bit differently than before. And then eventually you come into that phoenix rising state. Like this energy energy is like you've been through a lot you've been through all of these experiences and it's really like nothing can shake you nothing surprises you anymore nothing can shake you because you guys have kind of built that stability within especially in the first house it's the self okay so you guys have that confidence within the self and a lot of the time people are very attracted to that energy as well because it's like people are attracted to things that they're not now keep in mind you know this energy can be very blunt it can be very quick to cut people off especially if they pick up on any sort of shady behavior like lying anything to do with betrayal anything that's not matching up energetically like they will cut people off but eventually you guys will go through this journey of the self where you guys do neutralize somewhere in the middle and eventually you guys come into that phoenix rising state unbothered no one can really affect you guys anymore you guys know that the power is in your own hands you guys have fully pulled the power back to you guys. In that particular situation, you guys are manifesting left, right, and center. So with all that being said, I'm going to wrap up the Pluto in the first house video here. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day.